Hello, my uh, name is Nadia Matar, and uh, you are filming me now. You're seeing me here now in uh, a place called Osvegaon, a place that we uh, put set up in memory of three boys who were murdered uh, three years ago by Arab terrorists. And we are standing in the heart of Judea, 20 minutes south from Jerusalem and from Bethlehem. And uh, I, together with my 750,000 Jewish people who live here in Judea and Samaria, very often some people call us occupiers because we live in Judea here, what you call, what some of you call the West Bank. And some of you call it the occupied West Bank by the illegal Zionists. So I'm here to tell you that those who talk like that do not know what they're talking about. That's the majority of the people. There are some people who don't care about the truth and they're just anti-Semitic and they don't want any Jews, not in Tel Aviv and nowhere else. I don't have to talk to you because tough luck, we are here and we are here to stay. But I'm talking to those who are willing to hear the truth and who are willing to understand that sometimes there are uh, 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 things that you know that are not true. Those who think that we are here illegally Learn a little bit about history. Read a little bit about books. There was a woman called Joan Peters, who in the 70s was in America, a fighter for the uh, uh, rights of the minorities. And she was very famous. And so some Palestinians heard about her. In the, I'm talking about 1970s. And they said, did you hear about us, uh, 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 the Palestinians? We are being oppressed by the cruel Zionists who took over our land help us. She said, oh my God, of course, I'm going to come and help you. She says, I'm going to write a book that the land where you are belongs to you. They said, great, come. But there was one thing that she had, this wonderful lady. She had moral integrity and honesty. She says, of course, I'm going to support you, the Palestinians, but I first have to learn to know this history. I'll learn a little bit and then I'll write about you. She learned and stayed seven years here in Israel she learned and she learned and she opened books and she interviewed people and she all of a sudden realized that what the so-called Palestinians told her was a lie and that the truth is completely different. That the land of Israel really belongs to the Jewish people and that the Arabs who call themselves Palestinians and claim that there was a Palestine here and claim that the Jews took over their land were lying. And she wrote this amazing book called From Time Immemorial, you just have to Google From Time Immemorial, John Peters. It's a book that the Arabs started burning. Oi, a woman found out the truth and she's publishing a book saying exactly the opposite of what we wanted to say. We live in a world of post-modernism. People are trying to convince you that this person is right and this person is right and this person is right. There's a famous joke. Uh, two people went to a rabbi because they were fighting. And they, they went to the rabbi and said, I'm right. And the other one says, no, I'm right. So the uh, rabbi, you decide. And the rabbi was thinking and listening. And he says, you know what? I think you are right and you are right. So his wife, the wife of the rabbi who was uh, in the living room was hearing that. And she said, how can that be? How can he be right and he be right? So he's thinking and says, you know what? You are right too. So that's a very cute joke. For the joke, it's cute. But when you talk about life and death, when you talk about truth, it cannot be that the Jewish people who say that this is our land are right and that the Arabs who say that this are our, is our right. Somebody has to be right. I'm challenging. I know we are right. And I know that the Arabs are lying. But I know it's so hard to convince people who for years have been brainwashed. Yes, you have been brainwashed. So all I urge you is to read and learn about it. And then you will find out that God gave us this land. And thank God there are people in Sweden who know the truth, the friends of Israel. And I want to strengthen you. And we, are, and we thank you for, 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 for being on our side. Because in the end, I want to tell you, and I'll finish with that. Those people who claim that we took over their land and as, asking for your money to help them uh, uh, create a Palestinian state, which of course will be the end of Israel, and there's, there never will be a Palestinian state because we are here and we will prevent the creation of a Palestinian state. But those same people who cry to you, they do not want only, is only Israel. 
they want also Europe. There is a famous sentence in all over the Palestinian Authority, you don't know that, because it's in Arabic. And it says, first the Saturday people, then the Sunday people. First the Saturday people, the Jews, we will destroy Israel, and then we will come to the Sunday people, meaning the Christians. The, the, the meaning, this is, the war is not about the settlements. There, were, there was Arab terrorism before 67. Uh, the Arabs want all of Israel as a first course. What do they really want? The war is really again of uh, uh, radical Islam against the Judeo-Christian civilization. Radical Islam against the Western civilization. That is the real war. They want to first create a Palestinian state in order to destroy Tel Aviv, in order to destroy all of Israel. After, God forbid, they will succeed, God forbid, to, su to destroy Israel, Europe is next and they started already. If you want to protect yourself, I don't, we don't need your help. We need your help. We love your help. We have God on our side. But if you want to protect yourself, Europe, if you want Europe to stay a European country and not Eurabia, if you don't want your women to turn around, to have to in a few years wear a jihad all the time, then you should be on our side against the Palestinian state for your own sake, for your own survival. For you, if you want Europe to stay alive as a Western, uh, uh, modern uh, 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 country, then you have to be on our side to be against the Palestinian state. And you know what? I have, I'm going to finish with a little secret. We, women in green, we are fighting for the one and only plan, no, not the plan of a Pal the creation of a Palestinian state. So what is this, uh, the other solution? Sovereignty, the application of Israeli sovereignty over Judea and Samaria, that Israel be, will be in charge of the West Bank. And you know what the secret is? We have so many Arabs who are with us. We have so many Arabs who are sick and tired of the Palestinian terrorist organization who is also waving, raging terror against their own people. They're sick and tired of the Palestinian Authority who's stealing all your millions of dollars. We had a conference not a long time ago. We had an Arab, a Sheikh from Hebron and from Ramallah, who came, who were very brave. And they spoke up at our conference and they said, why is Israel allowing the Palestinian Authority to continue and stay alive? We don't want the Palestinian Authority who are outsiders that Shimon Peres brought here. We, the Arabs who live in, in, in Israel, we, we want Israeli sovereignty. The Palestinian Authority has received billions of dollars from the European Union, from America. And you know what he said? You can go on Google and, 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 and see it yourself in Arabic. Uh, uh, his name is Asraf Jabari. Uh, uh, just write uh, Asraf Jabari uh, 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 Sovereignty Conference, February 2017 and you will see what he said. He says the millions of dollars that you gave the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian Authority didn't build one school for us, didn't build one uh, uh, hospital for us. It all went to their own pocket. Your money is going to the pocket of corrupt terrorists who are not only killing Jews, but are also oppressing the, the, their own Arabs, the Arabs we are in touch with, who are already waiting for the day that Israel will be sovereign over Judea and Samaria. And that is what is going to happen. There is never going to be a Palestinian state. We are going to bring hundreds of thousands of more Jews here in Judea and Samaria. We're going to have more than a million Jews here. And we are going to stay here forever and ever because this is our homeland that God gave us. And nobody will ever again expel us from our home. For our good, this will be good for us, good for peace, and good for the survival of you guys in Europe. Um, is that okay? Oh, you're amazing. God bless you. Thank you. Thank God bless. You. And you have